Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into the world of security with a comprehensive guide on setting up your own multiple camera IP civilian system. And whether it's for your home or business, having eyes on your property 24-7 can provide invaluable peace of mind. And if you have any trouble with your technology system, we've got you covered. You can visit our solution page now for expert guidance and fixes to all your technical glitches. So don't let tech issues slow you down. Click below and let's get things back on track. In the era defined by increasing needs for security, civilian systems have emerged as crucial tools in safeguarding both personal and public places. And this system provides protection by actively monitoring activities and determining potential threats. The solution involves the integration of multiple cameras into a unified network, enabling real-time monitoring and data analysis across diverse locations. So understanding the significance of multiple IP camera system setup is essential for those seeking robust security solutions. When embarking on the journey to set up a comprehensive civilian system, careful planning forms the cornerstone of a successful implementation. And whether it's for residents, business, indoor or outdoor spaces, understanding the purpose and environment is the first step. To ensure comprehensive coverage, determining the numbers and strategic placement of camera is paramount. Covering blind spot, entry points, or key areas guarantees a holistic view of activities. And it's equally important to address potential bandwidth and storage consideration, balancing the demand for high-quality video feeds with network capacity and storage resources is essential to avoid bottlenecks and data loss. And during the planning phase, take into account a variation in lighting both natural and artificial, which can impact image quality. Adequate lighting, especially in low-light environment, can greatly enhance the clarity of captured video. So first of all, you need to choose the appropriate camera for your situation. Consider about the resolution, field of view, and night vision capabilities. And high resolution camera offer an added benefits of capturing fine details. Now let me introduce you to some of our camera. First of all, we have this compact little camera. It is an 8MP IRIP camera with full millimeter lens. It can provide a wider field of view and capture a larger area, making it suitable for monitoring large space like parking lots, warehouse, or hallways. And next, we have the 5MP bullet camera with very focal lens. Allows you to manually adjust the focal length and giving you the flexibility to zoom in and out as needed. Last, we have this 5MP PDZ camera. It has 30 times optical zoom capabilities, endless 360 degree pan and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle, over overall civilian coverage, with the IR removable cut filter to provide 200 meters adaptive night vision. And all of our cameras are IP waterproof rated. And they're also equipped with human detection. For the bullet camera, not only human detection, it also has vehicle vehicle detection feature as well. And this PDZ camera, since you can monitor a large space, so it's usually using in an outdoor environment, like a public place or a big places. And this bullet camera, which is perfect for outdoor civilian too. And the dome shape camera, since it has a little dome shape, it can seamlessly blend into the environment. So we normally use this for indoor civilians, but also you can use it for outdoor too, if you want it. Next, we have to select the NVR and the PoE switch. We need a NVR with adequate storage capacity. So this one is the 32 channel dual HDMI network video recorder. It can provide high definition data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP security cameras with real time monitoring. It can connect up to 32 cameras and able to equip eight internal 8 TB hard disks optionally. And the dual Ethernet port ensures stable network connection between the NVR 
car and the cameras, even when the cameras are confronted with temporary network outages, and provide the flexibility to connect up to the network camera in case of network failover. And we also will have another network video recorder that can support up to 64 channel. And up here, we are using this 24-port managed PoE switch. It has 24 PoE RJ45 port and up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rate. The 2 gigabit SFP port provides flexible high-speed fiber connection option for extended Ethernet. Also, it's compliant with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts of power output for per port. The powerful traffic management, QoS, and VLAN capabilities allow the administrator to construct highly secure cooperate networks with considerably less time and effort than before. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So now I'm going to do the connection step by step from the beginning. First of all, we are using this 32 channel NVR, so let's power it up using the power cord. Plug it in and open it. Next, I'm going to plug in the HDMI port that is already connected to the monitor. So we can view the video footage on our monitor. This is an ethernet cable that connected to our internet. So let's plug it in as well. So the NVR setup is pretty much done. Now let's move on to the PoE switch. And it's already powered up since you can see the indicated lights are on. We are connected to three IP cameras at the edge. So I have three Ethernet cable here. Let me plug them in to represent the three IP cameras. This is also the internet that connected to the router. We are going to plug it in here. Don't plug in the wrong parts. This is the console port for a command option. So plug it over here to the combo port. So let's move on. Now we are going to connect the router. The two ethernet cable, that can, one to the PoE switch and the other one to the NVR. So now they're both getting internet. So moving to the edge, remember we have three Ethernet cable. Now we are going to plug in to the PDZ camera, the bullet camera, and last but not least, our doom shape camera. And as you can see, we are using only a single Ethernet cable thanks to PoE technology. So we can power up the PDZ camera, the bullet camera, and the doom camera through a single Ethernet cable and getting both power and data at the same time. So now I'm going to set up our NVR. So everything is already connected. Now I'm going to show you how to add the camera to our NVR. Right click it, we can see the channel sets. And you can see the cameras are already listed. If not, you can just simply press the search button. Now we are going to add them. As you can see, they're already connected. It's pretty simple. And each one has its, its distinct IP address. Apply it, exit, and we can see all three cameras. This is the PDZ camera, I believe. So I'm going to right click it to the PDZ control. And we can check out, you can move it around, up and down, and also zoom 30 times and zoom out. Next, this is our four millimeters doom shape camera. You can see this pretty wide angle. Last but not least is our bullet camera. And you can also, by right click it to the main menu to change the record configuration. This is how you record it. We have different settings, schedule recording, motion detection, recording. If you hit this one, it will, it will record video footage when it detects someone walks in or moving. And if you click also the regular, that means it will start recording. You can see the red button is on, mean it is recording now. Let's go back to the main menu. And we can also play back through our NVR. We have the Smart Express, and also 
we have the face search and the car we play if you want to see a car mo motion you can just click car replay and then select the date July 12th this is where we have all the cars moving and that's pretty much it in order to connect our switch to the computer we'll need a short patch cord let's plug it in here and then you can just plug in any of the port that you want done so now they're connected let's see open up our computer we have to type in the number 68.2.1 now we are connected with the switch make sure you set a strong password to ensure safety lock in let's wait for a second to get into the web interface so this is where we can do all the configuration let's open it up whoops okay and here we have a switch basic configuration this is where you can set up vlans to create network segmentation we also have dhcp st sntp and the spinning tree configuration so it's pretty simple you can, because you can do all these things through this web interface or you can even type in the command lines if you want to and if you want to connect to the NVR here's another software called VMS not only you can monitor your cameras on the computer you can also play back and set all the record settings and device configuration through this website and we do have videos about how to install VMS and use it so that's pretty much it so that's it about our video today and thank you very much for watching us if you find this video helpful feel free to share it with your friends or family who might benefit from it and don't forget to subscribe our channel Fast Gabling.